Hello and welcome to the 2022 list of lesbian film releases. This year's list is absolutely amazing and I am so excited for these releases. One of the reasons that I am most excited is that Kate Blanchett is once again playing a lesbian. So I now have a reason to stay alive for the rest of this year. Thank you postmodern lesbian feminist Jesus. Thank you. So first up on our list is Am I Okay? Directed by Tig Notaro and her lovely wife Stephanie Allen, this film stars Dakota Johnson and is about Lucy and Jane who are the best of friends. They finish each other's sentences, predict every detail of each other's food order and pretty much know everything about each other. But when Jane is promoted at work and agrees to move to London for her new position, Lucy confesses her deepest long-held secret. She likes women. And she has for a long time, but she's terrified by this later in life realization. Suddenly, their friendship is thrown into chaos as the two choose different routes by which to navigate the unexpected changes in their lives. I've actually already bought my ticket for this film at the online Sundance Film Festival, and I can't wait to watch it. Next up is the film Tar, in which Kate Blanchett will be playing the character of Lydia Tar, an orchestra conductor widely considered one of the greatest at her craft, and the first ever female chief conductor of a major German orchestra. Lydia Tar lives with her girlfriend, who is also a professional colleague, and their adopted daughter Petra in Berlin. As far as I know, Nomi Malon is playing Kate Blanchett's love interest in this, and if this is correct, I'm going to end up in a lesbian coma. Next on the list is Scream 5. Okay, whilst not strictly a lesbian film, Scream 5 has a lesbian character, Mindy Meeks Martin, who is played by Jasmine Savoy Brown, and uh, that's pretty cool. Will she survive long enough to take part in any lesbian activity? That's another question entirely. Scream 5 takes place 25 years after a streak of brutal murders which originally shocked the quiet town of Woodsboro, California. And now, a new killer dons the ghost face mask and begins targeting a group of teenagers to resurrect secrets from the town's deadly past. And our final film is Loving Colour. Produced by our very own Natasha Leone, Love in Colour is about an aspiring young artist who joins her high school track team and later discovers what real love feels like when she finds herself falling for an unexpected teammate. This film sounds so wholesome and I would trust Natasha Leone with my life. Uh, it's the hair, you know? And I can't wait to watch this. Okay guys, if you know of any other lesbian films being released this year, please do let me know down in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe Subscribe for instant disappointment and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!